It seems we are all ready for the Adams Family Any% percent run by Indie Drag Pack. Uh, just go for it. Let's go. Good afternoon. My name is Indie Drag Pack, uh, and it's actually my first one with PSG, so I'm happy. Uh, first, I'm gonna reset the console. And um, yeah, you're gonna see the Adams Family Any% percent where we skip basically the entire game. Usually you're supposed to rescue four family members in order to get access to the final world. But we want to go fast, so we're going to skip that. So before I actually start, it's Wednesday, my dudes. Yeah. All right. So if everything goes planned, we're going to finish this in under 10 minutes, so can I get the count on, please? Alright, um, as I said, we're gonna skip most of the game here, which we're doing by performing a very specific clip, which brings us basically to the final world of the game. Usually you are supposed to rescue four family members, but we're gonna use that clip to save about like 20 to 30 minutes. You just saw that I picked up a few items, two speeches and a sword. The two speeches, I can actually stack two of them at the same time. And they not only make me faster, they also allow me to get maximum speed, which will guarantee me to clip into a specific wall. I'm gonna take in this slowly because as soon as I take a hit, I basically can reset. Okay. So this might go faster than you can see, but oh, I wanna I wanna go on that edge there. I wanna basically jump into that corner, and as soon as I hit the ceiling, I wanna face down the other way. Uh, the way how this works is I'm basically falling into the level again. Usually I just exit the level at the same way I enter it. But here you're not supposed to actually like exit this level through the entrance. So the game gets very confused. And if I fall down through the entrance again into the level, then I get warped into the final world. And there was a clip. So, unfortunately, I already lost my speeches, but that's not a problem. I can get two more later on. So, yeah, this is basically the final world of the game. It's split in two parts. This chainy world, which can get very confusing because of all the chains in the background and in the foreground. And the caves. The worst part of this area is that there are no checkpoints. Usually, when you die, you get back to the checkpoint. But those levels are very long and there are no checkpoints, meaning I don't want to die if possible and if rather at the start of the level. So, uh, I'm gonna get one more speed tree here because we want to try to keep them as long as possible. Uh, the sword was not mandatory for the clip, but I can kill the enemies way faster. And also the sword actually allows us to defeat the final boss with one hit. Usually it, it takes like, I think like 12 hits, I believe? Okay, never uh, mind. So I uh, saw again, I got a hit and I lost the speed too. I'm gonna damage boost here a little bit. Oh. There we go. Okay, so I have one speed too that should be in good though. As long as I don't lose it. No. I, I, I really love this game. The game also has really, really weird hitboxes. Sometimes, I mean, usually you're supposed to like jump on those enemies. And sometimes I actually hit him with my back and they still die and I survive. Okay, uh, I'm gonna jump over here. There are no checkpoints in this game, but I can use this door, so that is basically my checkpoint. Um, if I die, it will save me a few seconds. I hope I don't die. Which, once again, will 
bring me back to the start of the level. Also, one thing you will see that um, I'm doing low jumps and high jumps. Depending on how hard I press on the jump button, I will do one of the jumps. And sometimes it's actually very mandatory to do only low jumps. No, man. Um, so I don't get a hit at certain points. Okay. Th th those birds really like it, right? But I got the clip very fast, so I'm kind of happy. Um, let me get the heart. And yes. so here I can just fall down. The cycle of the enemies are pretty set, so if I don't see them, they don't move. Which really helps me. Um, also, a very interesting thing is that depending on how fast you are, you can skip or pass certain cycles. Um, for example, there will be a point where I only have to press right to move and if I have if I don't have any speeches basically this part or if I have two speeches I can get just pass it. if I have one speech I actually have to jump to not get a hit here okay. Got it. safe so volcanoes And you can also see we can swim here. Um, all of the things in this game are not entirely deadly, so yes, we take a hit, but there are no instant death things. So we could technically do a lava boost, but we will not see lava in this part of the game, unfortunately. Volcanoes, um, okay, into the river. That. I remember back in the days when we didn't farm the, the clip. There was any percent around like like 30 minutes because we had to rescue all the family members, which took quite a long time. And now we found this amazing clip thanks to uh, Galvi de Glitchuis because she was the one to find that clip. There's also another clip, which is be done in the music room, um, which I'm not really consistent in, but it would technically save like 15 seconds over over the part uh, I played. Well, so, um, and usually you're supposed to ride the gondola, but the gondola is very very slow, and if it's just bunny hop out of the water I can skip most of the part okay then I'm actually gonna show you the show you something funny this is also the the last whoa, bad part okay see I just hit it with my nose and I didn't got it uh, okay because sometimes if you Actually, go faster. Yeah, that are gonna lose no group. I have no idea why. Probably because of. I killed him with my nose again. Jesus. Okay. Eh. No. I'm stuck. Okay, that's. I think that never happened before. Alright. Yeah, please. Okay, come on. Come on. What? Whoa. Wow. Uh. See, this is why you want to skip the gondola. Which we now gonna do properly. So, hello, my name is Ian the Backpack. Welcome to the Adam's Family Any Percent. I'm gonna show you this clip. Uh, the, the skip. There's also another vehicle route where you ride a train, but there you, you can damage boost, but you cannot entirely skip the train because the train is riding on electrified rails. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. So, 
Oh, it's actually time for the final boss. Um, I'm gonna get one more heart here. And this beats you. Probably alive as well. Also, every time I, I collect money and I get uh, 25 of them, I get another heart. And with 100, I get a new life. Alright, so time for the final boss. The nasty judge. He kept them more Tasha. And uh, usually I can hit him on both sides twice. Already lost my speed you, but that's not too bad. He always jumps in the middle, left, middle, right, middle, 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 left. But I, if he jumps down on the middle, I don't want to hit him. Because then I will definitely take damage. Also, time is coming up pretty soon. I'm gonna take it a little bit safe. Because you can actually soft lock the game here. If you kill him in the same moment where you die, the game thinks he's dead. And he won't be there anymore. And. Time. Um, yeah. In the same moment where, where you and he die, he basically gets despawned, but since you died before his death animation is over, um, it's like you died normally and you get back into your room, but he's not there anymore and Morticia's not there anymore, so you're completely alone. There's no way to get out. Um, this is why you don't want to uh, really stop her. Um, so, uh, yeah. That was uh, the end of some leave. First part went actually uh, pretty good. Um, there's actually one one cool thing I, I quickly want to show you. Um, takes only a few seconds. Um. <laughs> no worries. Um, there's also another category called all bosses where you actually have to beat all the bosses, which are uh, the judge. We just saw the four bosses for, uh, from the regular family members. And um, three optional bosses, which increase your health bar. Um, so I want to show you because we are here in the portrait gallery, and uh, I basically got asked by Cedar to 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 show you someone. Um, in this portrait gallery, you always see four pictures of the uh, the family members, and if we go into the next room, I mean memes, right? We're gonna have some memes. So, I wanna... in this room... Also, most of those things are pretty deadly. And you already see her in the background. Do you know who that is? That is correct. It's Wednesday Adams. So, uh, yeah. That was the Adams Family Any% percent. You will see me later with Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. And uh, until then, enjoy the Wednesday, my dudes. Thank you very much, Indy, for that run. And for, quote-unquote, saving the Adams family, even though you didn't save anyone. You just went to the final boss. But whatever, you beat the game. Uh, just before the next run that is gonna be Disney Tarzan's Untamed by Double Double, I wanna quickly remind you that we have a couple incentives for that run. There's the language choice incentive, which is currently winning as the Spanish, but you can choose between Spanish, Italian, German, French and English, so if you wanna snipe a language, go for it. And there's also the Save All the Monkeys incentive, which has no donations yet, so if you want to get it, uh, you've got to be quick. 